Welcome to October's Leak Code Challenge. Today's problem is binary search. Given a sorted integer array nums and a target value, write a function to search target in nums. If target exists, return its index. Otherwise, return negative one. So this problem is basically one of the building blocks of algorithms. You should definitely know it. In fact, they'll probably teach it to you on the very first class of any introductions to algorithms class. So the basic idea is since our list is sorted, what we're going to do is search the middle index first. Check to see if that equals the target. If it does, we just return that uh, index number. If the number on that index number, however, is greater than our target, then we know we want to move to the left side and check everything on the left side. So we'll check in the middle of our left side instead and continue the algorithm. Uh, otherwise, if the number here is less than our target, then we're going to move to our right side and then continue the algorithm. So that makes it much more efficient. It's going to be a logarithmic time rather than a sequential. And that's it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, first we want to initialize our n. That's going to be the length of nums. And usually with these sort of problems, you have two pointers. You have the left pointer and the right pointer. Left pointer is going to point to the very left, and right pointer is going to point to the very right of the index or the list. So that's n minus 1. So while l is less or equal to r, first we're going to calculate our midpoint. And that's going to be l plus r divided by 2. Now we want to first check to see if our nums at this midpoint is equal to our target. Because if it is, then we can just return the midpoint. And that's the index number. Otherwise, let's check to see if our number is less than our target. Because if it's less than our target, we want to check to check on the right side of this index or this list. So what we'll do is make our left pointer equal to mid plus one. And the reason we add plus one is so that we, since we already know middle, the mid index is not right, we can just go ahead and ignore that and do mid plus one. Otherwise, this number here is going to be greater than our target. So we want to move our right pointer to the mid minus one. And that way we'll check the left side of this list. Now, if we're able to get out of this loop, that means our number wasn't uh, available to be found. So we'll just return a minus one. And that's it. This is definitely an algorithm you should know. Uh, let's go ahead and submit that. I'm pretty confident it'll work. And there we go. Yeah, so I don't think there's really much more to go into this than that. Um, just definitely know this, memorize it. Doesn't matter if you don't completely understand it. This is something you definitely need to know. So thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.